Okay, this is the um, February 26th meeting of the um, Board of Selectmen and the Finance Committee, a little later on. Uh, we're being taped by the Frontier Community Access Television uh, Network tonight uh, for viewing by residents and the public in the future. Um, okay, first item on the agenda. Minutes for Tuesday, February 20th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yeah, they're good. Okay. okay, they're excellent as usual. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Hello, Joe. Hello. We waited a couple of extra minutes for you, and then we said, ah, we're going oh. to start with that. Yeah. So these, these are for the finance committee? Yes, that's all set up for the finance committee. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, next item on the agenda is meetings attended by select list this. members. We haven't voted this. Oh, we haven't voted that yet? Yeah. Huh. All right. It was excellent. Uh, everybody's reviewed the minutes? Yeah. I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Bob. We don't have any unvoted minutes. Okay, meetings attended by select board members. Bob? Sure, but none for me. I Robert. attended a talk session yesterday at the uh, Historical Society oh. about the year presentation of from a year ago for the tornado. Mm. Me too. It was, and Bob was there also. Okay. And it, it uh, I would say about 75 people showed up. The place oh, was full. That's, that's great. Yeah, they great. had some great talks with a lot of the homeowners, uh, had some good discussions, some good thoughts for the future. Standing room only, and that's And I for sure. thought it was an absolutely excellent meeting, it really was. That's great, that's great. Was it recorded? Yes, yes. that's Pat, and they're, they're editing it right now. Oh, cool. It was excellent. Okay. Um, again, because it was a short vacation week, I had no meetings, and I attended. Okay, next item is citizens' concerns. We have any citizens' concerns? Is that no, us? No, no, no citizens' no, concerns. No, no, no. Okay, that's good. Who are on the moratorium? Okay, old <clears throat> business. All right, first item of old business. Um, at the um, last Massachusetts Municipal Association Board of Directors meeting, um, we were told that um, the Attorney General is entertaining. Um, extensions of the moratorium past the December 31st, 2018 previous um, maximum. Okay, they're going to now they're accepting till June 30th, 2019, and may even be accepting till December 31st, 2019. But right now, it's for certain <coughs> that they'll accept an extension to June. Uh, 30th, 2019. Um, What's the rationale for that? The rationale for that is because the uh, Cannabis Control Commission, they don't believe they're going to have all their regulations in place to properly uh, regulate um, the, the retail operations of uh, marijuana. So, so are all those application dates going to get slipped? Um, that's that's kind of up in the air too oh, at this geez. point. Um, there's, there's there's a tremendous amount of confusion and um, uh, supposedly, okay, the Cannabis Control Commission is going to come out with regulations March 15th. But there are so many questions. Even if they do come out with those regulations on time, there are so many questions, uh, especially about the edibles. Okay, that it's you know. The, the, the AG has basically said, you know, let's extend it at least another six months. So they're accepting those extensions. Um, I did talk to Jenny, and she said it would require a town meeting vote. Yes. To do it again, and we'd have to change the article. We would. We would have to put it on this town meeting to extend it. No. Why would we have to do that? We have. We have. Well, okay. December. This town meeting or a special town or a special meeting special in the fall. Yeah. Right in the fall. I mean, because yeah. we, when you know, when we passed the the moratorium in October by one vote over the two thirds, what we said was that we're doing it 
um, because we wouldn't have time before this town meeting to have bylaws ready because we wouldn't have the regs, you know, ready from the state in, in enough time. And we've been operating on the assumption that since our our moratorium goes till December 31st or six months after they come up with their rules, our assumption has been that if we're going to do zoning bylaws that we would need to have a special town meeting in the fall to do that. And it seems like right now there's this sort of maybe there's not going to have it really, you know, like the, right, it's th March 15th has felt dubious from, from the beginning in terms of, you know, whether they'd have it done. We'll have a much better sense, it seems like, of what's happening in September or October than we will between now and May. And that that would be a time that we could say at that, that, then at that point, I can imagine selling an extension if it's like things are in disarray, it isn't clear, then I can imagine saying to the people, we thought that the end of December was going to be enough time. Now, with, with what's been going on, it isn't enough time we need to extend. Right now, if you know, in May to say to people who voted one vote over two thirds to do a moratorium, that we want to do an extension of the moratorium without really knowing how settled things are going to be or not would be hard. It would be hard. And we would need to do, it's like a zoning, it's a zoning bylaw, so we'd need to do a, a public hearing, we'd need to do all the public, the legal notices between now and town meeting, and, and that would be, I mean, we could do it, but it would be, I think, quite a bit of effort for something that we don't have, we have, we expect that there'll probably be problems, but we don't know. And, you know, in May, it could be things were moving along and there isn't clear information. It would be hard to say this is a good thing to do. In the fall, <coughs> it could be really obvious. Either that things are settled, we have a zoning bylaw proposal that, you know, we think here's what we think will take care of what Conway's concerned about. And, you know, we can either, you know, we can vote a bylaw or we can do another, we can do an extension. Mm -hmm. Right now it feels premature to me, even though I think it's wise to be <clears throat> thinking ahead in that way in some ways, especially for towns maybe that haven't voted a bylaw yet, I think, a moratorium yet, I think it would be hard for us to do one. Um, well, the question I got about that would be is, if you want to wait for the fall to possibly have a special town meeting, because of the cost of town to that publicize and advertise a town meeting, if you were the only item on the special town meeting, the board might be reluctant about wanting the whole of me for that one item. Right. Okay. Why we got now? We have all these items on the agenda, and 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 certainly have a situation where the attorney general is coming out and saying, "Hey, you know what? Okay. We're looking at this situation, and and we're seeing." things that, that lead us to believe that you can extend it another six months. So, so they're seeing a lot of things happening that, you know, that, that we haven't seen, right. that you haven't seen, right. that um, is, is convincing them that, hey, things are not going to be settled by even the end of this year in terms of being able to, to you know, really manage uh, not only the retail sale, of marijuana, but all the things that surround that, you know, like police, mm -hmm. uh, right. you know, right. Right. <laughs> emergency services, who knows what, right. you know? So. I guess I have a couple concerns. One, I understand you're asking for a 3% tax at this meeting. And it sounds yeah. like, it seems to me that if we ask for a 3% tax and a moratorium at the same time, we're going to confuse people. They're going to say, well, it sounds like you're in favor of it because you're voting a tax, but you also want a moratorium at the same time, which some people are saying that's our delaying tactics because we don't want it, which is not necessarily well, true. Well, the, 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 the vote for a tax, and towns are allowed to have a 3% tax, okay? The vote for that, it has to be voted. You have to vote for that <coughs> tax. So it's just, it's a, it's a formality, basically. But you know. why couldn't that be voted at the same time we did a zoning bylaws? We don't, I mean, it's, we're, nothing's going to be happening between now and December 31st. So why would we need, to, again, I guess it's, I mean, if we're only thinking there's an annual town meeting, <coughs> I continue to believe we should plan on two 
two town meetings a year or spring in a fall town meeting because I don't remember the last year we didn't have a special town meeting because various oh, well, things we'll, come. I'm sure we'll have a town meeting in the fall. Um, so maybe the question is should we plan the vote on the bylaws and the tax at the same time, I think is what Mary Right, so <laughs> saying instead of, it's, it's a fairly confusing, I would think, to vote on a tax when we haven't voted any zoning bylaws related to it, when we still don't even really have a good read from people what they want or don't want. We had an information session and two, didn't tell you nothing that two civilians from Conway came and five planning board members <laughs> and a select board member and a town administrator, a select board member from Ashfield and somebody from Williamsburg and Great Barrington. Um, so we, we wanted that session to help us no, okay, what'd you vote for? Because people, you know, when you vote to legalize marijuana, is it so you can grow your own, so you can buy it at the mm -hmm. stores, you can go to cafes, you can grow it commercially, you know, and what do people care about? I mean, we, I've heard, I've gotten individual emails from people concerned about odors, concerned about where mm -hmm. things would be, you know, but I, I still don't have a read, so then, they, and I know that top people are thinking this is gonna be an income source, but it seems a little weird to be like the tax thing yeah. to say that at the same time without having like the well, bylaws. We, we could we could take that article off the warrant. That's not a big deal. The warrant's not closed. Um, and and certainly, um, you know, we have a situation where the annual town meeting is is usually better attended than the special town meetings. Certainly. And you know that's another reason why it should probably be on this town meeting warrant if we want to try to get an extension. <coughs> From what you know now, would you want to have some zoning bylaws? I mean, you know, the rules that we've all seen? Yeah, I would, yeah. You we, would. We, the, uh, the planning board hasn't voted yet on that. We just had our meeting to get information. We didn't think we were in any rush to plan. We were thinking of another information session, perhaps. I mean, now if you think but that you're going to want zoning bylaws, the question is, do we think we even need to write any bylaws? Well, I think I mean, right, right. I, I, I don't care what they. I mean, I'm not asking what they are, but yeah. I think that it is likely that we would want to have bylaws that were specific to this kind of. I, I mean, if you think it's likely, then we are going to have a special town meeting. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, Bob is saying maybe we won't have one, but if you want zoning bylaws and you know then we will have one and so we could plan on there being one at which case we could we could decide on the moratorium then i, I mean yeah, then the risk of not having one has gone away right and if you think we're not going to have zoning bylaws then we need to vote the tax now because we might not have any other you know th then we might not have any future work on the marijuana I think bylaws. one of the things one of the things about potential bylaws that we're looking at is whether we need a site plan review or special permit kind of process especially given some of the you know the concerns about odors concerns about you know wanting public input site mm -hmm. plan reviews and special permits are the way to do that and especially, and then size issues, because some of these places are big. A lot of these places, I mean, most of these places seem to be big. And we don't have any size limitations in, specifically in our um, zoning bylaws currently. Mm -hmm. And so if that's, that's a, that, so the potential of a zoning bylaw that says, here's some things you can do by right, here's some things you can do by site plan review, here's some things you need to have a special permit for, seems likely um, because of and because the state law will be the state regs which is like this thick book mm -hmm. yeah. will you know do a certain amount but the sort of conway specific stuff you know i mean i don't know <coughs> oh, let me give you a couple more pieces of information we still haven't heard from the ag on our own bylaw it's i think they the have until march well, we, it hasn't been right. approved by the, or denied by the AG. We expect to hear well, March we, 4th. We, we, yeah. uh, we, we basically, you know, copied a bylaw that had already been approved by the AG. Right. And so, so I don't understand yeah. why it hasn't been approved. You know, you know they're, in, they're, they're being deluged. Okay, that's, yeah. that's one of the reasons. Okay. They're busy. Um, 
The other thing is, anybody can request a bylaw change. If you want to go ahead with this, you can request it, and we have to do it. But the negative side of that would be if the planning board voted against the moratorium. If our recommendation was to not have it, and it failed, you can't bring it back for two years. So there's a, there's a risk in bringing it forward with an unfavorable recommendation in that you couldn't, you couldn't do it again for two years. If it failed the town meeting. No. What's that? If it failed the town meeting or? If, if, we, if it goes to town meeting with a negative recommendation from the planning board and it fails, uh -huh. you can't bring that subject wow. back for two years. Yeah. Now some of the board is already leaning towards, um, maybe we should just not write a bylaw. And so they might not even support a moratorium. I don't know, we haven't checked. I haven't we even haven't asked, had a, asked you know, I mean, we haven't had a discussion we haven't had a, you know, we have a, we have a meeting on Thursday, and we're going to talk about that. As Bob knows, well, some of the people at the meeting were saying, well, "Why are you wasting your time?" You wouldn't, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be better for the planning board to have that extension to give you more time to come up with bylaws, a bylaw? <clears throat> Not necessarily. If what we come up with for bylaws, based on what the current, you know, what the regs are, if they are. You know, if they're about a special permit process, if they're about, I mean, if if they're not ultra specific, I mean, if they're, you know, there's like a process, you know, like you have to do a special permit to do this kind of business. Whereas if you want to, if you want to have a 10 acre greenhouse of basil, this is the example I use, we don't have any regs about that. But if you want to have a 10 acre greenhouse of um, marijuana, then you need to have a special permit or you need to have a site plan review because um, you know th that I don't I mean uh, my one of the things I come back to with any kind especially with zoning bylaw changes given how ch challenging they are to get through town meeting is how am I going to stand up and explain the need for this particular bylaw change and I would have a very hard time explaining a need for an extension of the moratorium past December until we make it through the summer and see what happens. Because, you know, then it's gonna be, you know, in the fall, for example, if we wanted to try and vote an extension in the fall because the regs are a mess and things are being delayed and they haven't, you know, done what they're supposed to be doing, then it would make all the sense in the world to have an extension. But right now, there's suspicion that they're not gonna get it together well. There's suspicion, you know, because there's it's so complex and it's I don't envy the CCC at all, but it'd be hard to sell. I, I suspect that one of the reasons why the Attorney General um, is saying you can do another six months and maybe another year is because I can see them intervening on the decisions of the uh, Cannabis Control Board and maybe you know, going through a process of discovery and wanting changes in, in what they come up with, okay? From a uh, an law, law enforcement point of view, okay? I suspect that it may be one of the reasons why the AG is doing what they're doing in terms of allowing for another, at least another six month um, uh, moratorium extension. And one of the things we don't know about our moratorium that we passed is it said, this end of December 2018 or six months after the state comes out with their final regulations, whichever is later. So we may already be past December if they don't come out with, say they don't get their act really together with final regulations till July or August, then if they accept that, if the AG, which seems like they'd be favorable to it now given that they're saying that somebody just coming in new can go later, um, that you know, it maybe we're already extended, and we we do expect to hear from the AG's office uh, first or second week of March, as long as they don't ask for another extension. This would be easier if we had that information. I think if our six month clause is is taken out and we only have the end of the year, it might be an easier decision. If we have the six months from when they finish the regulations. Then if it goes back to committee and it goes, we'll still have six months after that process. Well, well the, the six month clause is a is a standard clause in all of these moratoriums. Mm -hmm. Some are, so. some just pick the date certain. They I just pick so. the end of the year. 
We, I think, were one of the few people that put that clause in. That was at the recommendation of the the, the attorney representing the AG's office. Right. The woman, at the, what, at the, the meeting. Right? The woman at the, the meeting. meeting. <clears throat> yeah, who's yeah. there. But remember. the question was, you should also have it. the flagpole and we'll see if we approve it. Right. <laughs> she said, you should also <laughs> have a, 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 yeah. you should have a dual path, though. So if you yeah. strike, if we can't change your bylaw, we can only strike out. So if they strike out the six months, we have till December 31st. So we, right we, were, we were all at that meeting up at, at right, Hercog right, right. Yeah. Yeah. when um, <laughs> Margaret Hurley right. um, gave that seminar and basically left us with more questions right. than, than she right. answered right. because right. You know, she didn't have a lot of answers, right. you know, and, and I suspect that, um, that as we move along, even though they're going to solve some of those re issues, there's going to be a lot of open issues when it comes to April 1st. Well, I'm, I'm getting ready to mail out the public notices for the hearing on March 29th. So if you really want to do it and you, and you insist that we do it, we should probably try to work it into that meeting, which means we, we, we would need to know tonight. We would have to vote on Either that or we would have to then schedule First another day. set of um, meetings. We do have to have a public hearing before town meeting if, if we're going to change the uh, moratorium. Who proposed this to our agenda today? I did. did. Well, okay. I, it's a sure a great thing to talk about. I mean, you know, <laughs> well, my thought, my thinking, my recommendation would be to wait till fall. And if we really are in a position where we can't write a bylaw or we're not ready to propose one, we could ask for an extension then, assuming Margaret only gives us till the end of this year. You know? So if we end up in the fall and it's going to run out in a couple of months and we're not ready, we can. We could ask for an extension then. Uh, I suspect we'll be ready with a bylaw. Um, we're working on it already. Uh, Peggy Sloan's already given us a rough draft today. She gave us a draft uh, today. So we have that, and we have some of our own thoughts together. But as Mary said, it's a combination of special permits and maybe something by right. I think we're trying to figure out how to help the small grower. So maybe if we could allow something by right, that would be a very simple process. If it was a small cultivation facility or something like Give that. Give everybody the right to grow. <laughs> well, they have they it have. Yeah. You know, Everybody if, has if a you, backyard right right if now. If you really wanted to help us, you put a question on the warrant that says, do you want to prohibit marijuana in Calvary? Now, I, I, thought, I thought right now you can grow it inside, not outside. Personal consumption. You can grow it, six I think plants. you can grow it in your where? backyard. You, you can grow up to six plants in your backyard provided they're... I, I thought the plants had to be grown in closed. No. no, no, enclosed. No. I mean, by a fence. Enclosed. By a fence. No, they have to be hidden <coughs> from the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you the can road. gift it to your friends, you know, which is one of the problems. You can't you sell it, but you must gift it. So. Yeah, it can be <coughs> gift, yeah. Well, along with a t shirt that you charge 50 or <laughs> right. Yeah. right. You order a $100 t shirt that comes with a little bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's businesses in Massachusetts already doing that. Well, that's how, that's how the sales are being done now. Right, and, yeah. right. And, you know, getting around the law. I understand they're doing that in Colorado too, even though know, it's apparently against the law. They're doing it to circumvent the taxes, I guess. Hey, mm. you know. So, right, I think, right, that's really the question that I'm much more interested in than any of this is do people want commercial establishments in Conway or not? Do they, did they vote because they wanted to be able to grow it themselves? Or did they vote because they wanted commercial establishments? Because we don't know that. Um, We've kind of heard the opposite, though. No one has protested that we're working on this. If anything, they're saying, why are you wasting your time? Why don't you just accept the state law and right. get on with it? Right. So my sense is that most people are, or more than a majority, are in favor of it. I, I think if we ask the question, do you want to prohibit it, we probably get you know, a, a, a vote that they want to do it. But it'd be interesting to have an answer to that question. I think I was telling Tom, my son lives in Westford, and before they voted their moratorium, they voted to decide if they would prohibit marijuana establishments in the town of Westford. And they actually passed that one. They so did. Then they yes. passed over the moratorium because yes. they, pro they actually. I don't. I think we're not as conservative here, and we probably would pass. Um, there are a number of towns who have have done a prohibition. Right. Yeah. I think more on the western end of the state. The eastern end. Eastern, eastern end. Of the yes. Area. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know if that would work on the western end. There. Have you gotten Probably any sense not. from people that they would like it absolutely prohibited? 
I mean, you know, I've never gotten that chance. We haven't had I have, a single person. I've gotten, I've, yeah. I mean, I've had a conversation with somebody who <clears throat> is not, not interested in being in Conway. Well, you know, certainly if we put an article on this town meeting's warrant, okay, and it came to the point where, you know, before the town meeting there were rules in place that were solid and we could move forward, then we could pass over the article. You talking about the moratorium? Yeah, we could well, pass over an extension of the article. I don't think we'll have anything by town meeting. I thought that only towns that had voted against it could vote. He's only asking to, prohibit to, it. to, to extend the right, but we, moratorium. That's all it is. Okay, now, no, you don't got to have your ducks in a row in your. I, I, then I just I don't I, didn't, I don't think I understood what you were saying, then, John. You, so if like if you're suggesting putting something on the warrant that extends the moratorium for six months, I guess. Yes. And then if things are looking. Um, if things are more clear before Things are more meeting, clear by May, we pass over the then article. We, we pass it over yeah, and I just keep our moratorium. Do you think it will be more clear by I think it's, I think, I don't think it will be more clear by May. I think it's going to be more clear after the, I mean, if they go through with the June 1 openings and, you know, a couple months into the summer when they see what's happening. But if it's not clear then, you really kind of want the moratorium in or you extend it? Then it's not clear in the summer. Then is the time to say we so, want a moratorium okay. to extend the moratorium. What, what might be clear by town meeting is whether our six month clause is accepted. If we have six months after they finish writing the laws, I think the way we word it after promulgation of the standards. Mm -hmm. But assuming that wording is legit, that would imply we have six months after they get done with all their stuff so to speak yeah. so if if the governor gets involved and they get they get into a contest you know um as long as we still have six months after that we don't we don't really need another moratorium i don't think i think in six months we could write something and it might in fact be beyond the end of the year so i don't know i guess it's up to you guys let us know quickly because we'll, we'll have to a vote. we have yeah. we have to have a public hearing yeah, I yeah, I think it's not a great idea. We'll and take I, it wrong while you're here. Go and on. and I, also, I also think that the 3% tax thing is premature while we're in the middle of a moratorium before we have zoning bylaw things. I think it's premature to say, we have a moratorium, we, don't, you know, we haven't figured out how, what, how we're going to regulate these things in town, but meanwhile, we're definitely planning on taxing you. <laughs> it's like, really? That, that's gonna be but do you imagine under any circumstances we wouldn't pass the 3% tax? That people wouldn't pass it? That, that we wouldn't pass at the town meeting? Or that we wouldn't try to? Oh, I think we should, tr I mean, I think it makes sense to try to. But I, mean, I, I don't see why we don't do that now. At least that would be I, the only I, settled thing we have. I don't have a problem with doing it now. I, I suspect if you do it with a moratorium, it, it might get me a little more confusing. I think if you just do the tax, they are kind of, they're two separate articles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. they are, right. But they're on but the same. They're not running together. And, right. the, and the idea of this 3% tax is not going to be a big money maker like some people are. Yeah, it's not going to be $100,000. Yeah. Uh, that takes $3 million worth of sales. That's <laughs> right. It, it would take over $3 million worth of sales or $10,000 worth of sales a day to get 100000 as someone proposed at the last town meeting. You know, if, if we make, I don't know, Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, and I think that would be optimistic. Okay, okay. because then how do you how do you, 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 you enforcing this this sales tax anyway? You know, it, it's your call, I guess. You know, if um, you know, guy down the street is growing stuff, and you know, I don't know what the rules are going to be in terms of you know how do you control what you sell, and how, how do you report what you sell. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> Your call, I guess. My recommendation is wait till fall. Yeah, absolutely. I think waiting till the but fall. If you could do it tonight so we can. Right. I'll, I'll have to, you know, we'll have to re change all the paperwork and the opinions board. of the board. I'm with them. Okay. I agree with you. Let's <laughs> 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 I think it should be on the top of the board. 
you know, I think. So you're going to speak in favor of it. I think for for this, this I think coming, for and understand this is coming from you. The request of the planning board is from the select. <laughs> So this yes. is, was not yeah. a planning board proposal. For no, it's a select board proposal. It's a select yeah. board proposal. And, 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 you know, I think one of the reasons why it should be on this town meeting is because there'll be more people at this town meeting. We'll get a, you know, I, I think... Better opinion. I think at the special town meeting, things were kind of stacked. Okay. Um, I saw people at that town meeting I've never seen before. You know. Uh, so... You know, for the purposes of getting more people involved in the process, I think this is the meeting to do it at. Yeah, we're meeting Thursday, and we so we have to adjust our so if you yeah if we're going to do this, we need to adjust our. Um, do you have verbiage for it? Yeah. Uh, we have to. We have to make. Should we just we take to, the old article I, and add I, I would, to it? I would imagine it would be pretty simple. Just a matter of extending what we've already done. We well, you, you strike day. it one date. You put I it. I guess in you date, can amend the date in the existing one, or you can just present that same article with a different date. Yeah, I think you just amend the date. Right. So essentially. Yeah. Well, or basically say that the article we passed at the special town meeting in October. Will be extended by so six extend months. Extend the date in Article 11. Or, Are we going to yeah. June? Do you want it till June 31st? 30th. 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 Whatever. Yeah. How many days there are in June? June that would be 30th. that would be six months more. Yeah. 2019. Be very curious to see how people feel. No, about that. But, but if you end up deciding that we don't need a, the extension, who decides that? We would decide we that. Oh, you decide. You, we you, would. You propose it. We propose it. We got to take. We have to. We have to hold a public hearing and make a recommendation. Well, if we voted at town meeting, and then when the first moratorium date is ending, we might say we don't need the extension. We, well, no, we've we, already passed it. I know it, but we've passed it. So well, that, that's we, why. Well, the way it's currently worded, it's it's, it expires once we pass the bylaws. The wording, I think, is such that the moratorium expires, or we will expire it when we change the budget. I see. So that's in the wording. So that would work. Or, or it will be when we when we vote on the okay. bylaws. Okay. We'll vote to extinguish. I mean, I don't like moratorium. the fact that we would sort of decide against something that we vote at town meeting. You know, that if at town meeting we vote for this moratorium, the town votes for it. We shouldn't. Well, the thing, all, all, we're do, all we're doing now is putting an article on the warrant. It could be voted down. Right. 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 If, there's an ex, if there's an extension, if, it gets, if, this, if this extension gets voted, right. and then say it's October or November, and we decide we don't need a moratorium anymore, right. that could be one because we voted for a bylaw that would include language to extinguish the moratorium and say now that we have the rule because the whole point of the moratorium is to have our rules in place. To have time to do them. And yeah. so if we have our rules in place it would extinguish it. Okay. Or it could be that we would decide we don't need rules in Conway. We've got plenty of state rules and we we would then have to have presumably a town meeting vote to change it's a zoning bylaw. We, we have would. to change it by another town meeting vote. Mm -hmm. Right. Either, it's got to be changed. Either it's going to run out, or we have to change it by a town meeting vote. Either to have bylaws, a zoning bylaw that would be um, that would extinguish it, or a, you know saying we don't need town bylaws and we don't need a moratorium anymore, and we're voting to cancel our moratorium. But it's, either way, it's a zoning bylaw, so it's a town meeting vote and mm -hmm. public hearings and all that stuff. Right. Right. My guess is if you vote to extend it, we might just wait till the next town meeting to pass the bylaw. If we really have six more months on the board. Right. Not, not following what, you, what Bob was saying. It gives you more time. It gives you more time. And, and well, some I, I, people will be really reason. happy about that. Yeah. I don't know that we really pray really really angry. <laughs> if, if, if it, you don't, you got it. If it and, passes. Then. And again, the reason the Attorney General is, is offering this six month extension and perhaps a year extension is because they don't think things are going to be ready. And part of the reason for that, I think, is because they're going to intervene to ask a lot of questions and to straighten things out that may not be clear. So I don't think, I don't think it certainly harms us to go for that six-month extension. And I, th 
I, I think it'll be right in line with the way things are unfolding. Right, and there'll be some people thrilled and some people furious. As usual. Yeah. 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 So are you going to vote tonight, or are you going to let um, us know I, I'm going to make a motion. Are we finished <laughs> yep. discussing? Sure. All right, I'll make a motion that we um, propose an article on the warrant for the annual town meeting to extend the moratorium on um, the retail sales of marijuana for an additional six months past the December 31st uh, 2018 deadline. deadline to June 30th, 2019. Can I interrupt that it's it's not just about retail sales, it's about commercial establishments because the law includes, okay. it should be, the, the language should be commercial establishments, commercial esta fine. not because it commercial could be cultivation, it could be testing labs, it could be transporters, that's, it's not. Whatever, just, whatever the existing wording is, we're just changing the date. Right, exactly. Okay. okay. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Opposed? Opposed. Please note that uh, Mr. Armstrong, Selectman Armstrong, is opposed. <laughs> but I, I think. Okay, so we need to. And, and I think this will give you guys a lot more time to. Less time right now, more time later. Okay. Yeah. And John, you'll defend us at that time again. Yeah. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. not going to be here. I'm yeah, I, 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 oh, no. <laughs> this is me. This is me, and I will have a hard time arguing, I, arguing in I, favor of it. Unless you would really clear I, I will. I will be happy to to you know give you know express the logic for why why this right. is done. Okay. Right, and we'll you know we'll have whatever information we have in the middle of May about how things are going at that point, and then it will be easier or harder to sell it. Yeah. Based on, you know, if things are in disarray, then, then it might be easier to sell. Yeah. Um, and we're leaving the 3% alone. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave, leave it alone for now. Like, meaning... Leave it, we'll leave it on the agenda. Leave, leave it, it on there. It's a total warning. Yeah. You know, if, if it's some... It, all we're saying is that in the future, if there are commercial establishments, they'll get charged three percent tax. That's all we're saying. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go figure out what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you for Thank coming you. in. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Okay. Next item is the annual town meeting warrant review and discussion of the draft. Um, I think we can wait uh, for finance for finance Fine. committee. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a couple other things we can do pretty quickly. Then. Okay. Uh, result of request for quotes for audits. I think we have. I think you got those in your packets. Yeah. Um, the low bidder is Tom Scanlon for the quote. Change your trip. Um, uh, Lance and Heath came in at 19.5 for 2008. Um, and I do, oh, there are uh, Rosalie Clark um, came in with uh, um, actually Melanchthon Clark may be low. They came in at sixteen five for two thousand eight, and. Um, Yes, Tom. Uh, well, uh, you have to include the uh, the audit. Uh, we don't have any single audits, um, so you can take out those twenty five hundreds. But we do have the school. Audit every year. He's saying is for it's every other. I think we can do that. Um, well, we. I'll have to check on that, but. Uh, that makes him seventeen thousand instead of sixteen five. So um, uh, the other thing is, is that he's he's. I don't know how often we do that, but he would be seventeen. Uh, he would be over um, Roselli Clark as well. Um, that said. Um, I'll note that we are, we are not required to use the quote bait system for this. I did this at your request. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I would like to change 
auditors anyway. I don't think it's good to go more than five or seven years. Which one are we using now? Uh, we're using Roselli Park. And uh, Roselli's been with us, what, three years? No, since 2013. That long? Okay. Yeah. All right. Might even have been. And we had uh, well. Alton Melanson and Heath, Heath before that. And before Melanson and Heath, we had Scanlon. Yeah, Scanlon uh, Senior, right. I think. Okay. This is Scanlon Junior. Okay. And any, uh, any discussion on this? Gentlemen? They're all equally, yeah. they will all do a good job? Oh, they're, they're, they're all oh, top. top. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, these are the three that do Western Mass, I'll put it down. They're uh, yeah, and, and it is good to switch some around. Well, you're recommending a time for change, and I mean, like it's scaling. Yeah, do you, you have a recommendation? Um, I'm, I would be fine with going with uh, Roselli Clark uh, for another, another two year round, but then I would advise. Um, going to someone else, and I think it's clear that Scanlon comes in considerably under Melanson and Heath at this point. Mm -hmm. And we did have them before, so that would be a kind of a rotation of the, of the three Roselli, Roselli Clark, they know our books, they know, they've done audits for us for three years. Yeah, um, and, and it, it, it's good to have that up to a point. Mm -hmm. um, after a certain point, um, it's good to get a fresh set of eyes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I, would, I would be in favor of keeping Roselli for another two years. Two years? Another three? Oh. Is it three or two? No, it's, it's, it would be this next audit, it would be FY18. That would give them that. This is, this is for, their quote is for 18, 20, and 22. Right. Yeah. So that's going, that's um, really six years. It's three audits. Right. But it's uh, six years. But they're 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 giving us that quote based on a three year <coughs> or six year or three three contract order, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's clear that the first one is is more than well. The, that's odd. They they do start off at fourteen and go up to fifteen without the uh, end of year reports from the school. Uh, even even so, they would be um, less expensive than uh, Scanlon, who charges more for the end of year report. Right. Um, I, you know, I think I think the difference so between the three is negligible. Yeah. So I, I would I would stay with Roselli. Uh, yeah, and you can look at it again for for twenty twenty. I think because at that point. Um, yeah, that's they, five years. We, we, we can we can. Uh, what he's saying here, yeah, if you read down further, unless I'm interpreting this wrong, that he will send you another letter before the next three years as to what the cost would be for the school audit. It yeah, it's, like it's, it's included a three this year. year. It's, it's included three this year. year, but within the next three years, he'll give you a price for that. Right. Or one above this. Yeah, that's why he has. That's over why above he has that to, 15. Exactly. Because we, we would actually need that in. 2021 <coughs> as a separate audit, mm -hmm. so because it's every three years. Right. Any discussion? What do you think of staying with Roselle? Sure, for one more time anyway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, like okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll make a motion that um, for our next audit we stay with Roselli Clark and Associates. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for getting those quotes. Sure. Yeah, thank you, Tom. And the next one's really quick. Okay, Comcast negotiates it for a new contract. We got the letter last night. Uh, you requested it be on the uh, agenda this time. I mm -hmm. think that means it's time to uh, think about appointing a committee in June. You know, essentially, I think the important thing about the contract is we try to make it um, coterminous with uh, Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley. Because we're out of yeah. sync with them, right. they're, they're, they all have the same same time schedule. We're like three years off on there. It would be a so seven year contract. It should be a seven year contract with Coke Terminus with them. So we're we're all together in the next round, right? And, you, uh, and I think Comcast would like that too. They would. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm not negotiating for them, but yeah, yeah. but they have said that. Yeah. 
All right, so basically, all right, are we going to talk to them about being coterminous with? Uh, sure. Okay. Sure, but that, you know, that's, um, that will be a matter for the committee to, to do, and, uh, and not just coterminous, but we would we would really like our contract to match theirs. Y y you know, they yes. yeah. they're working under a contract that was just recently negotiated. Yeah. So just put it, put us into the same contract. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we should appoint a committee in June. Okay. That's what I mean. You can't get two Okay. So so all we're all we're voting on now is just that we want a coterminous contract that's basically the same as Deerfield, Sunderland, and Wake. Okay? Well, well, we're going to appoint a committee to... And, 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 and that would be the select board's... Charge. Guiding light. Yeah. You know, guiding light. Yeah, yeah. Good, good word. Guiding yeah, yeah. charge. I like that. I mean, we can't demand at this point, but... Um, I mean, the committee will come back with the, their recommendation. All right, so that's our recommendation right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but we don't have a vote. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, we all agree, with, agree on that? Okay. So we don't need to vote on that? No. no. Okay. No. Um, all right, next item. Joint, joint meeting with the Finance Committee. Welcome, Finance Committee. It's always so good to see you guys, and lady, you know. <laughs> Um, I, <laughs> what was that comment? What was that comment, Tom? <laughs> I didn't hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's true. I, I took the liberty of putting uh, yeah. on the on your agenda um, the uh, request for uh, a reserve fund transfer for the uh, oil spill, and I made a, an original and some copies of that for for the members. So you want to vote tonight? Just put in the other meeting announcement for this meeting tonight? That, that would be helpful. All right. We'll be getting the bill soon. So do you have any, uh, well, the question we had here is how many, how, estimated how many gallons spilled? Uh, we don't gallons? know. We don't know? We don't know, but it was a relatively small number. I would imagine. I mean, I saw the barrels in the dumpsters, so I mean, some uh, of them, a human being had to put them in there. How many yeah. barrels? Five. Five. Five, Five. barrels. And he made me left five gallons in each barrel. No, one of the barrels was empty. So, so the, how, the question is how much were in the first four? Four what? were in there, and then the yeah, he estimated what, 115 gallons. Is that what he said? How much could it weigh? Yeah, uh, Carl, I, I don't, I don't know whether you had a specific number. No, we, 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 we don't know. It is in, it is undetermined. Um, and of course, there is some. Uh, there may be some additional information coming forward at some point, but a relatively small spill. But because we reported it to DEP, uh, we have to go through all the procedures, and that's what's making it. We need a licensed site professional, and and the whole uh, the whole shebang. So what's the intention? Well, we'll uh, this makes no sense to me. Uh, you know, it, it makes complete. I mean, if we're, to, we're talking. What are we? Are we talking twenty-five gallons of? Or Maybe less, less, than less than that. Less than that. Mm. And they are, and this is a landfill, I mean, this is an area that was a toxic dump for decades anyway. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, this, this is one of those things where, this is what makes people say, get rid of all regulations, because well, it makes well, no sense. Uh, same token, if that little bit of oil, Right down the hill toward those houses down below, yeah. contaminated one of the bills, yeah. their wells. Yeah. We'd be able to the biggest lawsuit you ever saw in the town of County. Well, well, I'm not saying not to mitigate it. <laughs> okay. so, well, so the mitigation well, was by calling, you know, the appropriate authorities who came and and this is what they cost. Yeah, one, yeah. once once what, DE, once once DEP is involved, there's a, a very strict process what, that we have to go through. What you call them. Yeah. 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 So your question, and, and it won't be that much. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, so we, have, we will do an insurance claim, right? And then the insurance company will, will probably seek legal, legal remedy. Is that you are thinking? Uh, I've notified the insurance company. Okay. Um, the, uh, the main question is uh, assignment of liability, which seems to be split between the town and uh, whoever put the uh, oil, drum, oil drums that leaked. Uh, into the uh, into the recycling container, and uh, we 
the 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 uh, what what has come down to me is that uh, realistically the town um, should pay the bill to the people who cleaned it up, and sure. then the town uh, tries to recoup from whoever the other liable parties may be. What's the deductible amount in our policy, our insurance policy? It's up there at a thousand, multi thousand. Yeah, it's a thousand. Oh, there's more. Okay. So uh, and we have a we have a we have a. Um, Quote for between twelve and thirteen thousand for the for the final process. Uh, I don't yet have an invoice for the emergency cleanup um, from the night it happened. It was it happened. It was reported. Oh, that's why you think it'll be it'll be less than twenty thousand, but headed that way. You're yeah. Guessing, but yeah. Yeah. Somewhere between thirteen thousand and twenty thousand dollars. Probably close. Hopefully close to thirteen, right? Yeah, well, I hope I don't have to come back. I'll put it that way. Yeah, all right. So do we. <laughs> yeah, so you want to take a vote on this? You have a copy of this, which is to appropriate the money from a reserve fund. I think you, you have all the copies, if, or unless you handed them out. This is the original thing that passed down. We got $4,000 in the. Uh, Board of Health Reserve Funds, I assume. And you're asking for a Yeah, that, that's the uh, account that we want to put the money into. Oh, okay. it's a transfer station maintenance. Did the resident break law? The law is broken by the resident who that, that that's gonna be in, that's gonna be investigated. That'll be investigated and determined later. I mean, was it an inadvertent thing or an advertent thing? Maybe. That's part of the investigation. Well, li for liability purposes, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. For culpability, it would. Mm -hmm. Do we have signs up there that, that say? There, there are all kinds of things that enter this in terms of the law and violations and things like that. And the, and the Board of Health is going to conduct um, a hearing on that. I'm not trying to be difficult. Oh, no, no, no. Not, 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 not at all. But, but Roy, I mean, have you ever thrown anything into the metal bin? Into the metal? Yeah. Of course. So that's the question. Is, is that okay or not? If I throw oil into the metal? No, have you ever thrown anything yeah. into it? Yes, of course. So well, that's the question. Why is that the question? Did you did you have somebody from the dumping inspect what you threw oh, in there okay. before you threw it in yourself personally? Uh, I usually I usually ask them. They're usually we're pretty good about yeah. being on. Where they are, but where do you want to put it? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and that's it in there. Oh, right. Right. Here. it's water on the bridge. Yeah, it is. Right, <laughs> it's oil. <laughs> it's oil. <laughs> it's oil. <laughs> it's oil. It's like well, two thousand right. bucks a gallon. <laughs> it's it's more like that now. Good job. <laughs> 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 Does anyone want to make a motion here that we approve the recommendation to transfer money? Yeah, go ahead. I make a recommendation that we approve the transfer of twenty thousand dollars to the uh, <coughs> reserve fund. Second. All right. Any uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? With no abstentions. So noted. It's unanimous. Thank all you, right. gentlemen. And you're later. welcome. Or what the hell are you going to do? Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Have a bake sale. sale. Review the budget. Have a bake sale. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have something approaching a budget. Um, I did email out uh, on Friday uh, the first couple of pages. Um, at least to Alan and the, and the select board. Uh, I seem to have two first, two, two first pages, but that's okay. Uh, you don't. So that's not here. No. Don't have, no. What do you want to say? Yeah, you. Uh, you have the same two. There, there's there's double first pages on here. That's all. Um, right. There it is. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, so. If everybody got what they wanted, we would be ninety-two thousand dollars in the red. <clears throat> so, at the bottom of the first page, which is the message from the town administrator page, 
I came out with some options for budget reduction, which um, will be the, uh, you know, these are my proposals for um, reducing the, uh, the budget deficit it's if everybody got everything they wanted. And uh, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm in favor of all of them, but they're kind of the easiest ones to make. I make a, uh, an argument that continuing to put a large amount of money into garage stabilization, um, <coughs> while you know, in the long term, it'll reduce the borrowing costs a little bit. It also sucks up a lot of the money that might be available for other things. It's, it's $100,000 and we're 92,000 in the red. If we weren't doing that, um, yes, we would be paying it through, through our debt service and things like that. It's not as though it would be free, but we'd be a lot closer to being able to fund what people are requesting. So I proposed um, a change in source of funds for the ambulance unit and have that coming from general stabilization. Um, we could also bring capital stabilization back up to where it should be from general stabilization, which we did last year as well. We have a lot of money in general stabilization. Mm -hmm. um, How much do you know? To <coughs> it's, it's in here All right. somewhere. All right. Um, uh, Conway Grammar School stabilization has been getting 50000 a year. I don't know that they actually have a plan that requires $50,000 a year. Um, but, you know, they have been drawing on that a little bit recently. And we're proposing to take um, uh, almost $30,000 out, which... That's on a couple you know, of it's, money articles, right? Proposed in here? That's yeah, that's well worked. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I noticed they're using the town's money this year, not the money we've been setting aside for the building and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the stabilization for the school yeah. that we've been putting into, right? That's for the school, the property, right? Yeah. But the well and the other stuff, it's a separate money article rather than they're not taking it out of. Oh, no. The, the motion for that, it, that should be coming out of uh, the sources. It, it should be coming out of uh, yeah, Conway fine. Grammar School capital stabilization. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, the stabilization uh, totals are on page eight. Yeah, your expenses like that should come out of um, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, that's a, that's a pre-see right. of <laughs> how we can end up with some actual uh, excess levy capacity if we do all these things. And, you know, based on the general principle of not necessarily spending everything we can, um, maybe doing all of these things would be a, a good thing, or maybe you want to do more in some areas or, or do something different. Uh, what I've done is given you a a, uh, a lot of information about how it can work. And now I think um, it's up to discussions between the, the finance committee and the, uh, and the select board to figure out how you, how you actually want things to work. Uh, just as a, a reference, the, um, the money articles are covered on pages 16 through 18. And there, there are the two charts. One of them is by department, and then one of them is by source of funds. Both of them give source of, sources of funds. Tom, you're, uh, the figures you're looking for are on page 8. Yeah, I get it. So that's where a lot of this, uh, a lot of this comes from. So I, I'll notice that if you look by source of funds, only... Um, $157,000 is coming from raise and appropriate. So that, that's where people are actually taxed to do things. So, um, and, I, and on this, I have the, um, uh, you know, the, the ambulance device coming from raise and appropriate. One of the things I'm proposing on, uh, on the first page is 
in order to help get that deficit down that we take that from general stabilization. Um, in general, I don't like having to go to general stabilization for things that should come out of a different fund, but it wasn't um, proposed as part of the original capital uh, items. It came in late. Um, there was substantial support for it. So um, if it's not going to come from, if, if we need to reduce the, the, um, the budget deficit as exists now, uh, I think it's fine for that to come out of general stabilization. It can go on to the long-term capital plan, mm -hmm. and, and then it will be there. But it just didn't have time to get on the plan for this year. So that's, that's an example of sort of my thinking of how I'm trying to rearrange the sources of funds to try to make it, uh, to lower the raise and appropriate <laughs> level and also bring down the entire budget deficit. Because if it comes from general stabilization, it's a wash. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an expense, but the revenue comes from general stabilization. If we have to raise and appropriate it to do it, that's a direct hit on the tax rate. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and we do have substantial funds in uh, in general stabilization. That's uh, I keep saying that, but we have uh, um, like four hundred thirty-one thousand dollars, you know, as of the end of the last fiscal year, and we haven't spent anything since then. So, yeah. um, can I ask, we'll get can a little question interested. about your your draft. So, so the the draft seems to just say raise an appropriate for everything. So, has this not been modified? <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's the general language. Right, that's language. what I'm wondering. Does, no, no. does this draft okay. contain general language for all the warrant articles that have not been? I mean, like, like you're you're, you're asking okay. where does the Bob, Bob? You're looking at the warrant. The warrant. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. Looking at the we're warrant. looking at the budget. I know, but and, and, and I and I will answer that. For all spending articles on the warrant it's best to leave all options on the table, which is why there are multiple sources right. mentioned in each warrant article, okay. not just raise and appropriate. And, yes. and what that does is it allows us, as we move closer and closer to town meeting and the final school bills come in and yes. things like that, yes. it allows us some flexibility in the sources of funds if we need them to actually fund what we need to fund. Say, take more money from general stabilization. So we happens. shouldn't be looking at the warrant. We need to be looking at... Right now we're, to, we're yes, on the we're budget. The budget, right? yes. Yes. Okay. And yes, that's the first time. Yes. We, uh, I hope we can cover the, the, uh, the warrant. Um, uh, in, a, in a way, we're talking about the warrant because now we're talking about money articles. Right. Uh, but we can also talk about, I hope, um, the operating budget that's on the very last page. Um, these are draft numbers. All of the numbers in italics are um, salary numbers that have not had any adjustment to them. Um, the you know, 13,257 is not built in to the numbers on the back of this page. Um, if you voted a, a general pay raise, that would, that would go into um, the numbers with the italics in them. So anything that's italics is not final. And the schools are italics because they're not final anyway. Uh, I just did one time. The fire is supposed to be salaries and wages, it's supposed to be in italics, isn't it? So can I, can I make, make yeah. a comment? Is it, is this, should we just let you proceed and then comment after? Yeah, uh, no, I was, I was just saying that they're going to be adjusted after we decide what we're voting for. Yeah, yeah. And pay raises. Yeah, this one hasn't been, these haven't been voted yet. Pay that. Oh, right. Oh, no, no, yeah, 20, This needs to be put in the tax. The 36,945? No, the 36 is the operating budget. The 21,102 is the... This is a talent. And that is in the tally. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Tough to see that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, really to see it too. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to um, make the point that it's it's not just about the money articles. Now we can, we can also discuss the overall budget and the, the, the bottom figure for the operating budget. I just wanted to make uh, as the, my last bit of introduction. Um, 
to the process. Um, if if it goes forward uh, as it is, um, there would be uh, we'd be spending two hundred and forty thousand two hundred and forty thousand nine hundred forty dollars more than last year, which is uh, about four point one three percent more, down from a rise of four point nine six last year. It would go up to four. It would go up a little bit more if there were thirteen thousand more dollars in it. With the uh, if there were that pay raise you were talking about before, so that's that's roughly what we're talking about. Um, so and we're back it, on the tax rate, in a sense, for the two forty around two forty two fifty. Yes, thousand is about a buck on the tax rate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on top of that, we're talking about adding ex raise and appropriate of one hundred and fifty thousand on the money articles. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind too. Oh, always. Um, I, you know, I, I can point out as we always do that uh, the, the schools represent about 60% of the town budget <clears throat> and they represent about 70% of the 240,940. So the town operating side of this is coming in at only 30% of the raise when we take up 40% of the budget. Mm -hmm. The schools are coming in at 70% of the raise when they take up 60% of the budget. Mm -hmm. So um, keep balance. that in mind. So, yeah, yeah. We're doing pretty well. The op, the town. And we barely have 100 kids from school, from town, going to the elementary school. It's just the one school, not the other, not the frontier. Mm -hmm. So but as we go, it gets, I've done my introduction. Special. If anybody has, I have posted this online. Tell all your friends. Um, it's great for putting people to sleep. Uh, there's a lot of explanatory material in here. Yeah. I spent a lot of time putting it together. Somebody should look at it, please. Yeah. Especially maybe check a number or two. So, Tom, are you asking us oh, to so decide not... about the Lucas device? Where, where well, that money we, comes from? All we have a month. Uh, right, but yeah. we, we have a month to talk about this. Or, or even right. more if we need. <clears throat> so, but, so, so, this is a. All right. It's so, Tom, and, and when you were saying about, you know, where's the areas in the, in the total budget for, where's our, where's our leeway about? Well, leaving out the ambulance, because I, I think that's run pretty well the way it's set up, and I'm just leaving that out, the four stabilizations above it, it adds up to, you know, 1.7, 1.8 million bucks that's, that's stashed in these four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with so garage. It seems stabilization. to me if we're looking for a little yeah. leeway, yeah. It would, that would be like, and, well, maybe we don't have to put all of this into this and, this year. And that, that's why I'm suggesting yeah, like, cutting the garage stabilization contribution in half and cutting the Conway Grammar School's capital stabilization uh -huh. in half and, and funding part of our own capital stabilization through general stabilization. Mm -hmm. We could cut the finance committee's budget too. No. <laughs> I think no. before, we, before we go anywhere or decide, decide anything, I think the first thing we ought to look at is do we want to raise the tax rate in town of the five dollars next year or do we not want to? That's going to determine what direction we're going to head. Okay. I, can, can I say something? <laughs> okay. So, uh, we are uh, uh, in an unsustainable tra trajectory, is what it seems like to me. Uh, if we look ahead at next year, we certainly are, are we going to be better, barring a windfall from the state? Well, before I even get to what I want to say, the tech school, I, I mean, are these school numbers within a few percent? Of what they're actually going to be, I probably. I think they're pretty good. The grammar yeah. school is is uh, very close. I don't know at all about Frontier, uh, and I'll note that there's more detail on page 39 for the schools. Frontier hasn't uh, taken a vote yet. Well, well here, here, so here's here's where I'm going with this. So we have historically this town has really resisted debt, resisted taking debt on any way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. and you could have, what's our debt burden here, 60,000 or something? That, that, no, I'm sorry. Well, what, what's, what's the, what's left? I'm sorry, we borrowed for the, for the uh, fire truck. For the fire truck. So what's, what's the, what's that amount that we borrowed? 
couple hundred thousand, something like yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah. No other debt. That's the only debt. Yeah. So, what, and, and the debt is on page 29. Where I'm going with this is, and I don't know if the spreadsheet that came from uh, uh, Joe Mar Our, our long-range financial well, plan. What I'm trying to say is that it's possible to play around with, you know, like maybe, maybe it really doesn't, we got 850,000 towards the garage. I mean, does it really make a difference if you borrow one or 200,000 or $300,000, maybe more than we have in that stabilization over a 30 year period, assuming you could finance it over 30 years and assuming the lifespan of whatever it is you build is, gives you 30 years. Um, well, we, we, we tried 20 last time when we did it, and that was that. What, what know, I'm trying to say is put in the context of what's happening to the tax rate, that if borrowing more money, yes, we are on the line for more debt, but if it reduces or stabilizes, and I don't want to just think about a one-time reduction or stabilization. I'd like to see it um, that this is a more, uh, uh, you know, there's a better way to go, let's say, mm -hmm. you know, provide it. But, and one of the things, so I would ask you or anybody, you know, how do, how do, how does our debt level as a percentage of the budget uh, compared to not a big city, let's say, where they have, they have numerous other expenses and they have a lot of other opportunities for revenue, but other small towns, are we the same as everybody else? Much less, a little less, more? We're, we're, I mean, we're in much better shape than most towns well, by, by a long shot in terms of borrowing. Well, we have well, what about tax almost no debt at all. Well, what that what means is that we, we aren't, we don't have long-term investment yeah. in the capital stock. Yeah. And well, we do it in fits and sp in spurts. I mean, we'll right. It, it, it's not steady and planned. Right. And right. Um, you know, I, I think the um, the people who were you know looking at the financial plan with Joe Mark Carrion thought that a carrying a three percent debt burden uh, would not kill the town, and it would allow us to invest in in things that we needed to invest in. Right. And uh, five percent is standard. For municipalities to carry a five percent. That's the debt, debt, the debt service that yeah. you're, yes. you're yeah. paying every year. Yeah. Um, if you're not spending that much, uh, yeah. um, it just makes it. The, the credit rating agencies could, could will say that you're not investing the way you need to yeah. in the capital stock. Right. Well, yes, but we are invest. Instead of investing, we shove money into these stabilization accounts. It's that simple. And then eventually the cup runneth over or almost runs over and we finally elect to do something. Mm -hmm. but we so have substantially more now in, in the garage stabilization fund than we did when we went forward the last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. But we need that because the town balked at paying the amount yeah. it had to last time. Now, now we're up that's, against rising interest rates, that, and, we, and that's a good idea to get this thing kicking yeah. over the next year, and I have a discussion of that in here. And well, that's why I'm suggesting right. if we reduce that, if we have the amount we put into the garage stabilization fund and go forward with a plan next year, that's, that's the optimum way to approach that right. particular uh, right. financial What's situation. The, uh, so we still have, get, have you gotten an updated quarter which would cost to uh, build a garage? No, we don't have. We don't have that. So it's good to do that before you make too many assumptions, right? Because probably over the last few years things have changed. What was it before? Three point two? No, it wasn't that high. It was. Uh, we were going to borrow one point nine million. One point nine million. Yeah. And that required debt exclusion override, right? To borrow that much. And oh yeah, it, it was a debt exclusion. Eight. It was so not was an about, override. So that was a total of about two and a half. Two million. seven. Two two and, and a half. Yeah. Two seven. Two seven somewhere seven. in there. Yeah. Because we had we had uh, uh, eight hundred thousand available, mm -hmm. two hundred thousand was spent on the on the design exactly. and getting it ready to bid, mm -hmm. and then the town voted not to accept, uh, not not to go to bid. So we lost that two hundred thousand so, dollars. So how, all of this stuff notwithstanding, how are we going to? How are we going to do this moving forward here? Because it seems like you want operationally 
operationally, you want revenues to equal or slightly exceed expenses, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so I asked you about that model. Is that model capable of showing what the uh, amount to be raised from taxation, i.e., the, Absolutely. The, the, Absolutely. The tax it's, rate. It's built in. Okay. Uh, to, answer, to answer your question, you, you can you can what a, you can head towards any particular um, you know rate of taxation. You know you can make it work in various paths. So you can say, well, this is the rate of taxation we want, and then and then work you know work it back from there. So because uh, yes. right, I, I don't think towns can do that. But we'd like to have a. 14 per thousand tax rate. <laughs> in this state, there's no way, but by the time you're done with all the mandates, you know, in the end, in the end we're, we, we, t we wrestle about nickels and dimes and quarters, and can we get a fire truck? We're gonna build another barn, highway yeah. barn? I mean, just, just if the feds keep going the way they're going, and the states ain't gonna get it, and so when a couple other little small bridges that are less than 20 feet go, the state's going to say, hey, you guys have to figure it out. Have a bake sale. Do something. But really, we are borrowing. I'm saying, you, know, you follow the state. 350000 for the bridge. For the bridge. I mean, right. we're, this is, we're borrowing for there, right? They, yeah. Know, and you can make the argument. Once that, you start this bond, just borrowing bridge route, somewhere, there's a bunch before of you know it, state it's out of hand. Yeah. And, or you'll be forced into a situation where it's out of hand. I, I'm not saying I have the answers here. Yeah. But uh, one of the answers is more growth. That's clear <laughs> to everybody. I wish. Sure. Sure. I mean, to me, it sounds like you and Bob are asking the same question from a different direction. Yeah. Well, You're growth. saying, should we be borrowing more? in the wrong direction. I said, well, so yeah. one of the answers is that's more tax growth. <laughs> pretty high for a young family to move in. You yeah. know, Absolutely. our taxes are high. We have, every year, we have more and more seniors. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. 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 How are they? Well, I am too. I told you How are you going to be able to afford to live here? So we keep raising third, the tax rate. A third of the population in town. That's yeah. why I said I think we should try to. I, I personally would like to see us look at try to hold the tax rate the same as it was this past year, and make the system work with either what money we got in different accounts, or take some of these wish lists and say, folks, you're not going to get everything. You're only going to get a certain amount this year. So, so yeah. what would you, what would you take out of here? What do you see? On wish list, I think we need to discuss, we need to yeah, to discuss it. Okay. You know, if if you look at the back page, mm -hmm. okay, and look carefully at at the two hundred forty thousand dollar increase in taxes, two hundred and five thousand of it is schools. Mm -hmm. There's only thirty five thousand right. coming from operating the rest of the town. Right. So right. all of these up here, yeah. there's only thirty five thousand additional up here, yeah. That's and the other two oh five is down here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's 205 kind of for a lot of years, John. That's how we've been true. But this is just... Yeah, but, 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 but you know what? Over the last three or four years, it has gotten significantly higher. It's just, yeah, a small percentage of your goal. Even if you do two or three percent increase, once, once your budget starts getting two, three million dollars, well, two percent has to be a big number. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree. Okay. Yeah. So, Tom, I have a question for you regarding the proposal to have the mm -hmm. uh, garage stabilization in front of the Conway Grammar School stabilization. I mean, in your opinion, is this a one year solution? We have to look it down to building the garage. And I don't know about the Conway Grammar School stabilization. I understand they have to do a lot of infrastructural improvements at the grammar school, i.e., a new furnace to the tune of 40 or 50,000. I mean, how, no, how much, how much, uh, how much longer, in your estimation, can we do this? Can we do another fiscal year of having it? We really have to throw the hat over the fence. I, I don't like cutting the contributions in half if it means we're all, it's forcing us to borrow money, in other words. Well, and, and I say, in my the opinion, highway garage is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Um, borrowing for something that the town needs, you know, it, it spreads the, the cost out. You can either, you know, pay a lot in advance and not do other things, or you can spread it out and do some of those things over time. Um, I, again, I don't think that going to stabilization funds regularly is a good idea. They're there for 
uh, more catastrophic events, if there were a, another general recession and all of a sudden, you know, the town needed to spend some money on something, yeah. it would have that available. Um, you know, and, and it, it's it's we, we all need to look at the numbers. We all need yeah. to, um, to to figure it out together. But no, it's not, it's not a long term strategy. But uh, again, I think that the Conway Grammar School needs to have a capital stabilization plan for its own plant. Yep. If if it's going to be getting that kind of money every, every year, which you know we give fifty thousand to the grammar school and one hundred and twenty five to the town. Which means that, and the town has to has to do a lot with that. It's got buildings too, and vehicles, and equipment, and bridges. Um, so oh, yeah. um, they're they've gotten a pretty good deal at fifty thousand a year so far. Yeah. Having a plan would help us know whether that's realistic. Whether, uh, and I think we do need to raise our uh, stabilization contribution over time. I think we will as we add more things to the to the plan. It's only been trucks and, and highway uh, equipment so far. Sorry. You know, yeah. you know if, you, if you look at, um, you know, Tom mentioned 5% of a budget is con for debt service is considered about, you know, right give or take, okay? If you look at our borrowing, okay, we're at 10% we're at of what our 5% should be. So we have borrowing capacity, we have a lot of borrowing capacity, okay, that we're not using, okay? Um, and, and essentially, if, if we need, you know, large-scale capital improvements like the garage, we have plenty of room to do that, okay, without having too substantial um, an effect on, on the tax rate. So we're in very good shape that way. Financially, yeah. you, you, you know, I, I, I see the finances of other towns because I'm involved at the state level. Yeah. We are in great shape yeah, we're pretty okay. we are in, we are in great shape Elite company. absolutely great shape there are other towns that um, would would you know yeah. give their right arm to be in sure. in in the shape we're in Including all so. Franklin County. Okay. look at greenfield yes just because we're in a great shape don't, don't mean we have to raise our tax rate <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I have a question. My, my thought is uh, we'll have to discuss as a group. Tax rate but with, with regard to the uh, having of the contributions to the Conway Grammar School and Garage Stabilization Funds, I I would say I, I, I have to discuss it. So I, I'm somewhat, but I'm going to throw it out there for discussion. We'll have at our own meeting. Will be that we do it, but I really want to put up the recommendation to the town that we really need to go forward and lock in a fixed rate on borrowing that money to do the garage. And, and, because times are ticking, and you're right, interest rates are going to go probably won't yeah. go any lower, and they might go higher. No, and and, and uh, Robert made that point and, and, and got it on the uh, warrant last year, and the town said, yes, move forward. The problem is, is that we haven't been able to get it, uh, the committee together and working on okay. that. We're still looking for um, members. Find new volunteers or something. You know, we're, 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 trying, to, we're trying to get that together. Yeah. But I, I think um, a strong... Sentiment from the Select Board and Finance Committee uh, yeah. would would probably help in moving that forward. Right. Maybe maybe we can't go forward with the dream team that we had before, because uh, unfortunately Tom Shaw moved out of town, and and he was just gold. Um, but I think it would be possible to move forward, and uh, yeah, I can I can certainly urge urge that. Thank you. you know, and certainly over the next uh, two or three meetings. You know, we discuss different parts of this, and you guys come up with your recommendations in terms of, of what Tom's put together here, and we'll, we'll hammer it out, and yeah. you know, come up with a with a final version. And you know, to echo another thing Robert just said, there, there, there's there's no need to to spend to the to the limit. That that will, um, assuming valuations stay the same, that will raise the tax rate. Uh, it more more importantly, it will raise people's taxes. Uh, if the valuations went down, the tax rate would go up, but people would still say pay the same. Yeah. Um, but spending more money actually makes people pay more money. So, uh, yeah, it, it's true. There's a, but again, there's only 150 thousand in in raise and appropriate in here. All the other things are coming from other money sources. Mm -hmm. I tried to do that as much as possible, and then on, on the first page I said, okay, we need to do even more of that to get this, because we are coming up against our levy limit. 
And that's something that Conway hasn't done for 20 years. Well, last year it, it came a little bit close too. It was a little bit worrisome, but we can't, we certainly can't put extra stuff in without thinking about it and without, without making these calculations. But if we're in the same spot next year, you're gonna be saying, well, we're gonna to have to have our contributions again to make up the deficit. And I can say that overall, the budget, the rise in the budget has gone down now for the second year in a row. Two years ago, it was five point something percent rise. Last year was 4.96. This year it's 4.14. So that that trend is good, but the town portion of that is only right. a little bit, and we have no, we have very little control over the school portion of that. And it's not a bad thing that the schools are are good and spending money and all that sort of thing. It's just that the rest of the economy, as you say, we don't have the growth to to move along with them, and and to you know. Not everybody's uh, rising. Uh, so how many pot farms are you going to let them like, come into town to raise, get some business going? <laughs> I think that's what it's We were just talking about we're that. We're a small town, and I feel like there's this, there's a fixed amount of overhead to operate. Mm -hmm. And then there's some acknowledgement that we're not that big, which means we might not have all the services that a large town has. And if we insist on having all these amenities, our tax rate goes through the roof. and it, I feel like that's what you are trying to get at, is like, what is our strategy and our big picture approach? Because it's hard to well, pick this apart without really agreeing on some bigger picture. But I, I don't see us as having a lot of amenities. We, we, uh, you know, I, we I, have no well, amenities. Yeah. When I look at rates and appropriate, you're yeah. saying 150000 We're one of the richest but, towns in Franklin County with a porous infrastructure. Yeah. Right. And we don't have senior housing. Which and we don't have senior housing. The state going to whack us over the head of the now. Of course, infrastructure. But that's, also, that's also why a few years ago, it cost us 25000 to send a kid over to the tech school. And Gil, it cost $3,000 for Gil to send the same kid to the school. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so I mean. But that is the value of houses, not. So, no, that's education reform. So in terms yeah, of this wicked impact, because it's 60 to 70 percent of every town's budget. So in terms of the process here, uh, the timeline you originally sent us, Tom, you had talked of uh, a final recommendation vote by March 19th or March 12th. What was your... Uh, there is the a little bit of flexibility on that. Right. Of course, the sooner the better so that yeah. we can you know, all right. wrap up uh, yeah. the work and ship yeah. that off and all that sort of thing. But, uh, you, know, I th you know, we have at least three weeks of discussions. Okay. Um, There's one thought is next Monday, you know, I'll well, pose over meeting laws. I'd like to have a meeting just amongst the finance committee members to discuss sure. it. Now we've gotten to this point. Sure. One thing will be helpful, I think, with regard to the uh, options for the budget reduction would be for the next meeting, we meet together presumably March 12th, would be the just to brush up, brush off the cost of the garage and maybe get some ballpark figures if we were to borrow money for the construction of it what that might equate in terms of annual debt service, just to, uh, as a general, a general rule. So if we go to town meeting and ask for a, uh, an up and down vote on this, we can give something a little more concrete. Because obviously Jay the could, discussion, could discussion seals the off mid-March. Mid, mid, mid <laughs> well, here, the would be. here was one of the, the, the problems that, here is one of the problems that all uh, responsible town financial officials have is that you have to go to town meeting with the assumption that, um, with a conservative assumption about the interest rate you're going to get. Mm -hmm. What we told the town was, the last time we came around, was that we were gonna get something like three or three and a half percent interest. In fact, we believed that we could get 1.9 percent interest. But we couldn't tell that to people. We can't base a a financial proposal on <coughs> on what we what we you know what we really think. Oh man, I, I think we can really get that 1.9 yeah. because it, it might not happen easily, and that makes a large difference in what the actual costs are. This is why Greenfield was able to give 60 million or 30 million dollars back to the town now because you always borrow more than you actually use in order not to you know jam your project up at the very end 
You, you, you never yeah. want that to happen. So, so that it's um, we never tend to do that. It's a double-edged really sword, doing doing that sort of thing. But well, it, I you, think you, what we can you say have is basis for a discussion. So is it possible? You mean you have connections to the Mass Municipal Association? Is it possible to query uh, your network of some towns that have borrowed recently? I, mean, I don't know what our, our debt rating would be. Would be if, is it double A? Um, Jan would know that, though, wouldn't she? We, um, yeah, we can find that out. Jan, Jan knows that. Oh, yeah, good. We, we we have that, but every town every town's borrowing is different. It goes out to auction. Yes. Banks bid on it, and every bid is happening under different circumstances. Yeah. What we can say is that all indications are that the longer we wait, the worse the situation is going to be. Yeah. And we said that last time, and it did not swing the four votes that would have given us a highway garage. But Alan, you're wondering about the impact of the $50,000 reduction. To yeah, the, I mean, to a degree, it's kicking the game down the road. Yep, it is. Yeah. Did we ever reevaluate having a less expensive garage? That was the rock bottom option. You would not believe how much we cut out. The architect was surprised at what we said we could get away with. It was rock bottom. We are not going to get anything less than that. In fact, bringing back the same plan is the town's best option. You know, because we're talking about we're talking about a fifty-year project. Yeah. Oh, you know, yes. to last for fifty sure. years. Oh, yeah. But yet it's we had like, the, you know, we had the, the the firm that we had lined up to put the build up if it was voted for. Stood up on town meeting floor and said, "Your building's not going to last more than twenty-five years." Well, I think I think he's correct. I don't think they build any buildings anymore that go 50 years, which, which was... So you were going to have to replace your building so before it's paid off. That, 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 that makes a lot of sense. No, 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 no. Robert, that's not what he said. He said that is what the expected, more or less guaranteed lifetime of the building was. Okay. Uh, with good maintenance, okay. um, you need a stay we believe that it could last twice that long. Yeah, you need a maintenance but stay again, fund yeah. for, for that <laughs> building. Really there be a concern. That's right. Which is much different from the uh, building for right. right. a lower figure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're being conservative when they say 25 years because yeah. they don't want to be on the hook oh, for I saying it'll last 50. We believed, again, that it was going to last 50 years. But that's and not it, the way the townspeople looked at it. I don't think. They all said, <gasps> no, because... What are we voting for here? They didn't listen to the information that was available that said this is the best deal we are ever going to get on this, and if you don't vote for this, you're going to lose $200,000. Yeah. And that's the situation we're in now. It took us three years to build up that 200000 to where it was before. It's taken us another year to get beyond that. So. Yeah. And what are we doing in the meantime? Just, I mean, we're parking our equipment outside. That's what we're doing. How old, how old is the town garage up there? How old? Uh, yeah, yeah, 50, 50, 50 years. 50 years. Old. It's old. We spent what it is. a few, I won't tell you exactly how many because I don't know, a few extra thousand dollars to buy that new fire truck because we had to make it fit into the garage. But it's short enough. We had to take a standard package fire truck and lower the height, lower the length, lower the width to get it in. Well, that's a couple thousand dollars? No, well, it's more than like that. $35,000. 35000 to, short, to shorten the fire truck to by six money. feet. It's still cheaper than $4 million, right? Well, uh, well I'm just saying. <laughs> At least you don't have to park it outside. Right? No, that's yeah, right. right. Yeah. Of course, you can't, you can't pass by on the back or the front. But we, had to, we had to put special bumpers on the truck that's in the back yeah. so that when the new truck backs in, they touch. Right, well, having because if they don't touch, the overhead door is not going to close. Just, that just seems like to yeah. say that we need a new garage to put vehicles under cover and it has to be a $4 million garage. Like that, I mean, you can build a lean-to. Not that that's... But that seems like two very extreme... This, like, was, a, this was a steel building. Right. That, that we were going to put up. Right. Not expensive in terms of what you can do. Look at what look at what Deerfield did with their garage. You've seen their garage. Yes. It's like six million dollar garage. Or the Buckland garage. Or they have four bays. Oh, sure. It's a folks in Deerfield that I'm happy with it. They oh, were happy to spend that. A lot of grumbling, from what I understand. Yeah. 
yeah. a lot of rules. That's and always the case, you know, the Taj Mahal stuff. We live, we live in the box of state and federal rules and regulations. That's, so, that's exactly the, one of the if problems. If you didn't have to yeah. stay, pay state prevailing wages, you could cut the cost in one third. Off. Sure. Well, if we didn't, if it weren't a critical facility and we had to make it withstand earthquakes, it would be cheaper too. Um, there are a lot of regulations yeah. about public buildings that That's we right. that we yeah. have to meet. We're in the box. Well, they are the public buildings. They're supposed mm -hmm. to last. They're yes. supposed to be not according yeah. to codes. Right. Yeah. And I can tell you from experience, yeah. you go get a design build out, but they'll pull up crap. They will pull up real crap. I mean, unless they're unless you know what they're doing, mm -hmm. they sold their nose to a fire. Kind of. It's worth. It's, it's, to me, it's very discouraging in, in a sense, but it would not be this way if we had some normal levels of growth that comes back to comes yeah, back. Yeah. To that. And and I and I, you know, I along that that level, I, I'll add that the towns are bearing the burden of a lot of expenses that used to be taken up by the state or federal governments, sure. and it's it's tempting to, you know start infighting and stuff like that. But um, and I'm sure as uh, the select board knows, uh, if, if, you know, being involved with the broader um, state politics and things like that, um, the state makes its own priorities. And we're lucky to have a governor that pays a lot of attention to cities and towns. It's one of the reasons he's so popular in the state is that he's actually supported it uh, as, as the his prime priority, um, uh, and still, the state relies on the federal government for a lot of pass-throughs, especially in transportation. And that's our major departmental cost, and everybody's, and you still see roads and bridges all over the Commonwealth that need more attention than they're getting. So this isn't, it, it the fact that it's hitting Conway is in some senses, I believe, not a fair situation um, because the priorities are being set elsewhere. Um, but we're doing, as John says, we're not doing as badly as some towns. Yeah. Uh, the federal revenue sharing started going out the window 40 years ago. That's when the Fed started backing out. Yeah. And you can grab everyone's property tax across the country. As the Federal yeah. revenue sharing went down. Everyone's property taxes have gone up mm -hmm. from the early 80s on. Chapter 71 is. So are there anything else this, what you'd like to bring to our attention, John? With, 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 maybe, uh, overall, we all thank you very much for, for getting us to where we are now. It's, the next item on the agenda. A lot of homework. homework. A lot of homework. Well, the warrants. Any questions on the warrants? Tom, you want to go over that? Thanks. Yep. Um, it's a lot of what's in the budget, but in a different this form. Warrant. Yes. Um, the Article 2 that's on this draft warrant is the same one that's on the back of the budget, yeah. which same means that just... none of the salary figures are, are, are changed. Uh, everything else should be good. Again, I invite people to cross-check and add things up because uh, really I'm the only one who gets things to this point, and okay. to have one person do that, it makes me very nervous. So, and, and I know I made some, some errors uh, in the past, so uh, nothing catastrophic. I haven't, I haven't catastrophic. any major errors. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, the way that I do the money articles is I put the most expensive one at the top, so we can get over the, the toughest decisions, the most expensive stuff first, and theoretically it gets easier as the evening goes on, who knows? Somebody might pick a fight about the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, $500 for the flag fund or the $1,000 for the Christmas tree fund. What are we doing supporting Christmas trees in this town? But uh, he's trying to sound like you, Tom. They need money. The, with the one out by the library, they need money. So uh, you'll notice that I did not include uh, the community preservation. That's Article 22. Um, that is such a unique um, animal in this situation because the, the amount that's appropriated for it is automatically determined. Now, I don't have that amount yet. These are, these are not the right amounts. Um, 
and their distribution is predetermined. Uh, I don't believe there are any requests this year for funding projects, so all the money that's raised is slated to go into the reserves and for the administration of the, uh, of the committee. Uh, there is one item C under Article 22, uh, which is going to balance some old books uh, to provide $6,830 for fiscal year 2013 historic preservation, I should say. Tom, do we have balances? Do we have, have we got any way of balances on all these accounts? Sure. For the, uh, for that? So item C, 22C, the, the preservation a. fund. The motion to move monies from a, uh, a special fund to pay the in here? I didn't know she uh, that's, that's, that'll come from the community preservation okay. um, right. amount that's raised. All right, again, house. Yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, fund balance. Let me just write this down. i got to get Robert's thing, fund balances. Do you know what that was preserving in 2013? Was it? Uh, what? What did we preserve in 2013? They cost six thousand bucks. Uh, oh. I, th I think that was a, a portion. The portion. It was a portion that came from what was spent for the church. And I think there was um, when when the initial accounting was done, it was all taken from um, the general. Reserve, and in fact, um, that amount should have come from the historic preservation reserve. It's just, just a bookkeeping matter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. The reason I asked if you could come up with it, the balances in that in that preservation fund, are yeah. close. it's substantial. It, because oh, very. every yeah. year we go to town meeting floor, and somebody jumps up before that article gets voted and says, "How much do we have in the accounts?" Yeah. And somebody from the Preservation Committee jumps up and says, well, we really don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Yeah. And that upsets the people. Yeah. they got to have a balance in their budget. 400000 Sure. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, what, one, of, one of the reasons why that happens is because that the, the, what we get from the state comes in very late in the yeah. fiscal year. So, you know, we may we may have a number of town meeting, but we're getting something else in, but they don't know what that is yet yeah. because but, but it's they not could the give you they could give you an exact figure at that present moment. They what's could. in their accounts. They could. Plus it's gone along too. The, the state's has changed yeah. the game. The, cha the state has changed the game as the CPA thing went along. And, and we had up it at one point to be able to. We've been doing it tremendous the last couple of years. We got 100 percent money. Right, but that's, that's after the that's, that's after that. we upped how much we put in. Timing differences. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to do. She'll know these numbers yeah. when. Uh, well, she may. Yeah, she yeah, knows. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's Jan. I know the balances in these things sometimes till the end of September and October, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it it, right. it can come in late because yeah. don't forget even after the fiscal year, yeah, the state has the ability to they don't they, they need to certify the free funds, free cash. Until, until sometime they, in July, they dole that out right. to towns and in, in four increments in the course of a year. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, a couple more items. Um, Article twenty three in here after the community preservation. Uh, I have a line for a finance committee recommendation there. Because um, what we heard was that, uh, and, I, I, and, and we heard this from uh, Deerfield um, Select Board Member uh, Carolyn Shores Ness, uh, she believes that we will be able to get grant funding for at least the first year and possibly the first two years of this program. And she's hoping to have a large number of towns, as many as 70, in this district, all up and down the Pioneer Valley, <coughs> all contributing to the cost of um, an office which would coordinate mosquito control mm -hmm. up and down the valley. The history of Berkshire County is that there was one started out there, and towns began withdrawing from it 
which meant that the remaining towns then were responsible for a larger and larger share. So that they're spending twenty or thirty thousand dollars a year now on their mosquito control districts, and um, maybe somebody wants to give her a call and get reassurance that the grants are coming in or something like that. But what was the reason they all were withdrawn? Because the cost was going up every year. I don't know. I'm guessing that they probably were like, what are you going to do with this program? They were probably were funded with grants at the beginning. Yeah. Then the grants dry up, and up goes your cost. What's the control? Or, or maybe they yeah. didn't see the need for the program in their so, community. So the motivation is about the Centers for Mosquito Borne Illness, West Nile Virus. Yeah. West Nile Virus, and no. But what's the control? Triple E. It's to put, you know, there are a variety of controls. A lot of it is catch basins. Some of it is... So is um, Stagnant yeah. pools of water. So, this, uh, in the future, will this become another, in effect, unfunded state under a federal mandate? And those will be looking at reality no. five years down the road now? It, it'll be a self imposed mandate. All right. uh, this is a voluntary district. All right. So, it's there, but somebody might want to give her a call and just have a chat about how the grant's going. And, um, All right. uh, you know, it, there's a lot of unforeseen. Will, I, I, I believe she'll be coming to present the article. Oh. Um, at town meeting, All right. and so the town will have some assurances from mm -hmm. the, the sponsor, really, of this of this article. But I just wanted you to be aware that that down the road there could be financial implications. Well, one of their biggest the line item for it now. One of their biggest things was the treat catch basins. Yeah. Well, in the town of Deerfield or some of these bigger towns, they have a lot of catch basins. Sure. Conley has very very few. Yeah. Why do we need to have mosquito control? Uh, control West Nile virus and uh, equine encephalitis. It seems to be moving west. And there's a new one. There's yeah. a new one, yeah. yeah. There's a new one. It's, uh, yeah. And the mosquitoes are growing bigger, too. They are. They need one way for them. I also gave the Finance Committee a line, uh, and tell me if you want any more, uh, but I assumed you would make a recommendation, uh, if we're going to have this, on the marijuana tax. Uh, we were just discussing with the planning board, uh, you know, about, about another moratorium, and the, 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 the idea here is to just get this on the book so that if somebody comes into town, we can say, okay, we're going to get some tax money. What article? That's 25, bottom of... Page four. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, so it's, it's the 3% that the state allows. Maximum of three. Yeah. 3%. So we're just saying, you know, just getting it on the books so if anybody does move in, yeah. you know, they know what the situation is. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's, that's the last one that I have a um, finance committee. Oh, no, I actually did add the uh, Article 32 here. I, uh, I thought that I didn't. The, uh, there's a citizen petition right above that that says that since we have a new lawnmower, a zero-turn lawnmower, that the highway department should do all the landscaping. Yeah. And the highway department came back and said, well, actually, we're busy during the summer, so we can hire somebody to do it. And there's more to landscaping than just having the zero-turn mower. So there's... Uh, you know, a bunch of equipment that uh, we would like to have if we were actually going to take on landscaping duties internally rather than outsourcing it. Oh. And um, uh, obviously, I think they were not <coughs> thrilled with the prospect of taking it on. Um, so I, I did add on. And this last Article 32, that appears nowhere in my budget. That's $61,000 to... Uh, that's not anywhere in the budget. Now the con the contract we usually go out with someone to do that is like fourteen fifteen thousand, so that it would cost us like four times the amount to yeah. do it ourselves. Yeah. Because well, to buy the equipment the first year. Well, yeah, yeah, people people have thought about the fact that we got this one piece of equipment and said, yeah. oh well, we have one people then we yeah. should be able to do that. Yeah. Well, there's there's so much more to it than that yeah, because. When you contract out, you're going with a going concern that has all this labor and equipment. They're doing this all the time. Yeah. They can do it faster. It, they can drive it down to Amherst to get it fixed at uh, 8 o'clock on Friday evening. Right. Yeah. So 
there's, there's a little bit more to it than I think people thought when they did that article. So I, I had put that on the, on, the, on the warrant after the last select board meeting, um, but I have not, just again, I have not included it in my budget. Um, it would be problematic. The, the thing is, it would, if we were to go that route, it probably wouldn't be for the coming year anyway, because we're going to have to get the new lawn mowing contract in place within the next month or so. So, um, I hope so. You know, it's well, more, it's more of a, an yeah, expression of sentiment but, and guidance. Well, not not as, 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 as the citizen petition, we got not pass this one. Yeah. 31, the one before. What's the last date somebody can submit? Uh, the select board is closing the warrant no, the second the Monday in we March. Gotta, we got to do the mowing. That's so two, I think it's probably two weeks from now. Skip over it. March, so this is, so there will yeah. be more to this probably. So well, no, this has already been submitted. We're all say oh, no. yeah, I, I don't, th I, I'm not anticipating any not. more articles no, no. coming in. Parks and Rec, so <laughs> the, well, well, the What's that? Parks and Rec, or, you know, sometimes you hit once, you know, people just bring stuff in, right? You need 10 signatures and you get something on here. We need, right? Yeah, but it's not going to be in the budget. So, so yeah. and, and I, and just you know, like the ball field. field. Well, not to put too fine a point on it, um, town meetings, um, decisions like that are, are authorizing the select board to do something. They can't really mandate um, the select board to do something because they're elected officials. So um, the select board can choose not to spend money on something that has been authorized. They have the justification for it. I mean, Okay. So really, the next thing we're waiting for now is a little more final budget from Ms. Kavanaugh regarding the Conway Grammar School yes. yeah. and the Franklin Regional School. Yeah. They're still waiting from the Governor Baker's office the uh, Chapter 70 money allocations, right? Is that what's holding her up? Uh, if there's an initial figure that's out there, yeah, we won't know. know the final figure until July. July. Okay. Right. All right. Which is that's the way it works. Okay. So they, again, they try to hedge their best. Yeah, yeah. With sure. any luck, these figures can come down a little bit. Yeah. Unfortunately, between the first and the second Conway yeah. Grammar School budgets, it went up $3,000. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it's not much they really, because of most of its salary, which is under collective bargaining, so there's not a huge amount of uh, real room they have either. Yeah. 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 Okay. I have another question here regarding uh, March 12th, State Senator Hines has a hearing which overlaps with our, our meeting here regarding the state hosting of uh, uh, state funding of challenging, challenging rural schools. It's going to be at the Mohawk Regional High School. I mean, it's hopefully someone from the, the, go to go to. the school committee. Well, I mean, overlaps with our meeting here on March 12th. Maybe we could have an earlier meeting. Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, we could talk that. about it. Might what time easier. does that mean? 6 o'clock to 7.30 at the Mohawk Regional School. State Center Hines and some other state officials are going to be there. Okay. Talk we about the challenges facing the rural districts. Yeah, we did have an earlier meeting. So that's what the superintendent of the has been doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We should have at least a couple of people from, uh, yeah. from, one, from one from finance committee and our select board. I, I, I will be, I'll be out of town on the 12th. Okay. All right. The 12th Thank will you. Be, yeah. if, if people can, can sort of you, look at options, the ones I propose, come up with your own, and then prioritize them, maybe it'll help us come to uh yeah come to a quicker understanding okay yeah. thanks thank you guys thank you thank you. thank you all right next uh next time items not anticipated 48 hours in advance we have none okay your update tom Uh, not much because I nice spent short. <laughs> oh, most of the last week was getting this, getting this uh, for committees. We uh, have gotten a final accounting for the 250th uh, anniversary celebration, and it ended with a positive $31,293 uh, balance. That's great. There may be some outstanding bills of revenue, but those would be minimal at this point. And we're preparing to close the books at the end of the year. What did they do? What was the town funded amount for that? You remember? It was um, probably sixty thousand dollars. That's great. I mean, half of that. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of revenue. Yeah, a lot of revenue. Yeah.
That's, that's fabulous. Uh, departmental news. I've been working more on the parking issue on Delabar Avenue and hope to have a letter prepared explaining the situation as completely as possible soon. It's, it's a Kim, can we, can we go back to the complexity? First one first here. I, I'd like to make one statement. Is there any way that we can put on town meeting for, uh, or just mention that, you know, thank you to all that 250th committee? They worked their butts off. Oh, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Can we do sure. that? Yeah. Somehow can make sure that we don't get yeah, to we'll do that. Yeah, right, we'll, right we'll, yeah we'll, we'll do that. Sure. Because they did. They really busted their. They did a great they job. Fantastic. One person in particular. No, they all did. They all did. They had, you wouldn't believe the meetings they had. Yeah. You would be shocked. Thank you, Don. Uh, Maybe we can do some sort of a proclamation for them, Tom. Why don't mm. you, you know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We'll do a little think, well, what you're thinking cap on on that one. Yeah. Uh, we've gotten a preliminary notification of our Chapter 90 money for next year, which is 264963 uh, down slightly from 265608 last year. Which was down from 268, 147 the year before. So, going down a couple thousand, uh, a thousand, two thousand each year. Um, Why is it going down? Not, not a huge. Because they're not having funding yet. Is it powerful? Or? Well, uh, it's all based on the calculation of road miles and such. Mm -hmm. Conway isn't adding any road miles. I have a hunch that some communities are adding roads. <coughs> so uh, that's part of what the funding goes for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and finally, uh, for your information, the Festival of the Hills is slated for September 30th, October 1st of uh, this coming fall. It is that early because the following weekend is the weekend of the Asheville Fall Festival. It's, yeah. a, it's an early season. And what do you mean by September 30th, October 1? That's the weekend. Oh, the weekend. It, yeah. It's the day, but it's the day October 1, right? Uh, oh, it's, I, I thought it was a, a weekend event. No, it's just a one-day one day. One day event. Well, I got, I got the two. I got the two. I got the two really? days. They, they, they do on Saturday. Saturday. They, they do, do things on Saturday, Saturday, not very much, but they do some. They have big sales and stuff on Saturdays. Yeah, but it's not, it's not big stuff. No. Yeah, okay. All right. So, yeah. And... Uh, aside from the budget and the warrant and uh, the oil spill and a uh, few other things, uh, I didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Concerns of the selectmen? I don't see any. Okay, good. All right. Mail. Yeah, that date's not right, Tom. I've got September 29th as the Saturday. And September 30th is the Sunday. Sunday. I, I only wrote down what I heard. I understand. <laughs> I'm just, just looking at the they calendar. They got their dates wrong. Well, it's no. sometime at the end of September. <laughs> the last weekend in September, right? Okay. The, the first day of October was involved somehow. I don't know. But that's right. what I was told. It's always used to be right on the first of October as far as I got that. We got, we got some mail from a couple of vendors um, who were at the... Uh, on the MMA yeah. conference and trade show. Yeah. It's, it's nothing. Um, we, uh, we we already we already looked at this, right? All we have to do is sign this. All I have to do is sign this. Yeah, that's for the council on aging. Right. That, that's okay. just the the regular. Uh, right. Getting the money from the state. Okay. Any announcements? Anybody have any announcements? Okay. No announcements. Our next meeting is scheduled for March the fifth. Uh, here in uh, the town hall. It's Monday night, next Monday night. Do we need it here? See, the finance committee's not going to be here. We could, um, we could do it over at uh, yeah. town offices, okay? As long as the finance committee wants to do their own thing next week. Okay. Any other business come before the board? Okay, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Alyssa. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> Thank you, Jen.